right, don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GOODFELLOW1BOXING. Get you 18% off the 100% all-natural products. Website, promo code, description. Thanks. All right, man, uh, we back. Goodfellow Sports TV. Alexander Usyk stops Chaz Weatherspoon after seven rounds. Uh, Weatherspoon quit in the corner. Uh, so that's a seven-round TKO for Usyk in the Win Trust Arena in Chicago. Let's talk about the fight. And um, early on, Chaz Weatherspoon was having some success. He was tagging Usyk. Usyk's face was red after the first round. Um, Weatherspoon was landing some nice shots. Really no significant punch that hurt Usyk. But a couple times, he knocked Usyk off balance in the first couple of few rounds. And his size looked like it might be a problem for a minute. But Usyk, he was very, very patient. And he was trying to see what Chaz Weatherspoon was doing. Once he figured out what Weatherspoon was doing, he started to assert his uh, left hand from the southpaw position, dropping it to the stomach, you know, dropping it on uh, Chaz Weatherspoon's face, then throwing combinations. And he was using his footwork to really get his left hand home quickly. And his lateral quickness really made it a problem on Chaz Witherspoon because Weatherspoon didn't have a good win or a good movement. Didn't look like he trained for this fight uh, a lot. So at the end of the day, Usyk, was really, really patient, setting up shots. Um, his fitness was better than Chaz Weatherspoon. He came in about 215. But Weatherspoon was hitting Usyk a few times. And Usyk's face was red after the first round. I paid attention. And I think, you know, Weatherspoon's size, if he had some win, would have became a problem if he used it correctly and pushed Usyk back, which he didn't. But he was here just to make Usyk look good. He was a late replacement. And, um... I don't know too much about the original opponent, Tyrone Sponge, but, uh, you know, Weatherspoon has some success. He countered Usyk a couple of times. Usyk still got hit too much, all right? He still got hit too much, even by a slow Chaz Weatherspoon. One right hand from Wilder will put his lights out. One few punches from Ortiz can put his lights out. A few punches from Andy Ruiz can put his lights out. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the adjustments that he made. As well, he does. He ain't moving as much. A lot of his movements have purpose now. It ain't a lot of a lot of excessive movement at the heavyweight division, and he's sitting down on the shots a little bit more. I really can't tell if he got enough power to um, really hurt the likes of Tyson Fury, Ruiz, or Joshua or Wilder. But you know, I see the little adjustments that he is making in the heavyweight division. And I do think he need to sit, when he move up in opposition, he's going to need to sit down a little bit more on those left hands. But he made some adjustments. But um, really, I really don't feel optimistic about his chances at heavyweight when he fight the 6'7", the 6'9", guys. Um, even a guy like Andy Ruiz, who got really, really good thump. I really wouldn't bet on him to beat Andy Ruiz right now. Um, you know, at the end of the day, we'll see what type of jaw he got. What type of heart he got, but no, no, by no stretch of imagination is, is he a defensive wizard. By no stretch is he a slick fighter. He got good movement, but he get hit a lot. You know what I'm saying? And he doesn't do it. He does some good feints and some good movements, but it's gonna be tough for him to take on some of those big giants up in the heavyweight division. And he gonna have to throw some combinations to the body. He gonna have to really, really uh, be efficient, and he got to really have some great stamina. He shows at cruiserweight. But um, he got to work. He got to work to get inside on some of these guys. Weatherspoon and him was around the same height. Fury about, what, 6'9", Wilder about 6'7". You know, Ruiz is around his height, 6'4", AJ around 6'5". So at the end of the day, he's going to have to master, you know, cutting the ring off and closing the distance and counter some of those big fellas. But I don't think this will be his, be his best work. I think he's going to hire Lomachenko dad once again, once he gets some of those bigger fights. So at the end of the day, he was real patient. Um, I seen, you know, kind of adjustments that he made at heavyweight. He was, uh, not moving as much, but he moved with a purpose. A lot of the thing, a lot of the movement he did versus Gasly and Breida, British was a lot of excessive movement that could drain him. He moved just enough on Chaz Weatherspoon, but he did get touched up and that's the problem. He ain't, uh, uh, uh he ain't no, you know, James Tony with the shoulder roll or he ain't no Floyd Mayweather, but his advantage is going to be. Um, his foot movement, his advantage is going to be his ring IQ. His advantage is going to be being a southpaw. Uh, but ultimately, I just don't think, you know, 
what I've seen tonight, it don't make me think he's going to be able to beat a Wilder or Fury. But could be wrong. But like I said, Weatherspoon has some more steam and he able to fight in the front foot. He would have some more success versus Usyk tonight because he was touching him. And I think he hurt him a couple times. I don't mean like visibly hurt him. I just think, you know, Usyk felt some of his, you know, his power and his weight. But he was 240, 50, some, 50 pounds. So uh, at the end of the day, we'll see Weatherspoon was just bought, bought here to get beat on. He quit in the corner. He said he didn't want to fight no more. I don't think it was that Usyk beat him in submission. I just don't think his fitness was up to par. And I think that's one of the reasons he was brought here. He was an opponent. He wasn't a threat. He was a layup. And now Usyk looked to move on to, you know, fight for the fight, you know, Ruiz, or AJ, whoever got the WBO title. Hey, but it's good, fellas. Sports TV. Let me know what you thought about the fight. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, acquire response, ship video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, the Hellblaze at thehellblaze.com. Promo code GoodFella1 Boxing is 18% off the 100% all natural products. Lost yourself, foot socks, and much, much more. Want to make a donation? Link description. Best way to donate, share the video one time for the one time. GoodFella Sports TV. We go.